Okay, here goes day four, the last day in Cambodia. Honestly, we weren't even sure what we wanted to do today. It had been a long ass four days and we were just tempted to chill out on this final day and do nothing. But Tom, the friendly tuk-tuk driver, convinced us that we should take the morning to go and see the floating village and the crocodile farms and to be fair, he wasn't wrong. It was pretty cool and pretty unique. We paid our last $20 to hire our regular tuk-tuk driver Tom for the morning and for him to take us to a couple of the floating villages. He knew we were down to our last bit of money and he was really decent about making sure we had enough for the day. Enough for the boat fare, around $20, enough for the crocodile farm, around $10 and enough to pay some tips and get some food while we were there. One thing I will say about CM Reap, it is not as cheap as I thought it was going to be and it's certainly not as cheap as some of the other places in Cambodia and some of the other places in Southeast Asia. Now, I will say that everything I'd read before coming to Siem Reap warned us against using tuk-tuk drivers as a means of going to the floating villages or other places as often they are part of the many elaborate scams that go on there. But in reality, we had no more cash on us and you can't scam money if you don't have money to give so we didn't mind to take the risk. As well as this, Tom had been fantastic to us throughout the whole trip and we trusted what he said. When we were there, there were quite a few beggars and obvious mini scams around us. $7 for bottled water, $10 for snacks, stuff like that, $8 for fried rice. But we brought our own supplies and we had nothing to give, so we politely refused each time. I cannot overstate how cool our Tuk Tuk driver Tom was. He even looked embarrassed at times when scams were obviously happening around us and to others around us too. The best advice is be polite, be wary and don't be pressured into anything if you're not happy about it. The drive was around 45 minutes to an hour from the centre of town and it was pleasant. As I said, we were tired and we just wanted a relaxing time. We got there, bought ourselves a $20 ticket and we were surprised to get a whole boat to ourselves. We were there in what is considered to be the rainy season and although overcast, it only rained once or twice the whole time we were there. This meant it was reasonably quiet in the normally heaving tourist destinations and spots. The downside was the scammers were desperate and all around us. The floating villages are really lovely, just whole communities floating on the lake. There are shops, markets, restaurants, bars and even a school. A school! Without seeing it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. We boated around for a while taking pics and stopped off at the marketplace. Tom obviously knew the guys and it seemed like he quickly let them know that we were poor and not to bother trying to sell us or unload good to us. This we appreciated as we got to wander around unmolested and just watching the happenings and goings on. 
On this particular market boat, which was the biggest in the area, there was a crocodile farm and the tourists were crowded around gawking at them getting fed. The locals used the crocs for their skin and meat. Crocodile burgers, steaks, sausages and jerky were being sold all around us as well as the usual bags and shoes and belts. Definitely not PETA friendly, but interesting all the same. I also heard a few days after that we were there, there was a particularly grisly incident with a kid falling into one of the pits. Yikes. Well anyway, it was another good day in Sea and Reap, a sight worth sighting. We spent the rest of the trip relaxing by the pool and eating awesome food. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already, check out my other videos on Sea and Reap and Laos and other places. Subscribe, like and until next time, happy travels.